Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Goosebumps Horror Town playthrough. This is part one to our new event for 22. Yes, uh, event 22. Chicken, chicken, and this is the fully revealed um, title screen presented to us. And as you can see, the reason why I had to hide it again was because it kind of did spoil a little bit of one of the characters. Though, I wanted to give, again, this is the full art without the logo, and um, I, I, I really do like how these are looking. It's looking very professional, almost like comic book style, so it's real fun to see the types of people they have making these title cards for the game. It makes it more interesting, more official, let's put it that way. But uh, anyways, yeah, welcome, and uh, as you can expect, usually part ones, it's basically me talking about uh, my first initial reaction to the game, and then we'll go into dialogue and a little bit more in touch the game play as you kind of expect. But before I do that, two things. You might be looking at the Chicken Chicken logo, and it's kind of looking a bit similar to something. Uh, I kind of was looking around, and for some reason, <laughs> this just might be me. But, um, if you're familiar with the movie Carrie, yeah, the way the words are kind of wavy like that kind of gives me some Carrie vibes. I'm wondering if they did that on purpose because of, uh, well, we'll see in the game. Anyways, with that, before we move on again, uh, Casey did do a video looking briefly at this update, and, um, I ended up doing, a. A comment at the bottom and um, not only this is so surreal to see but he actually not only heart my comment but he pinned it as well so senpai noticed <laughs> uh, I just wanted to share that out there to just be like you know he, he's he's been around for like like almost a decade now he's like since 2003 so he's been in the block for a while and uh, I know he kind of covers this game on and off. He's mostly just focusing on Simpsons and Family Guy, but I digress. You know, if you're curious, I'll be making sure to still keep you updated when it comes to this game. But I've been talking much too long, so let's go ahead and jump back into November and see how I reacted originally. So, I'll see you in a minute. Until then, take it away, me. Chicken, chicken, the rumors are true. This is the new update, and apparently, from what I've heard, a lot of stuff has been added to this update. And I'm very intrigued to see what exactly has been added. I'm kind of familiar with what exactly this content might have as far as item goes, but again, I'm still curious. The title card looks really cool, and I do like the logo this time around. Alright, so here it is. All right, so this is a new pack. Okay, well, on the one hand, they're both... Oh, okay, so they're both able... That is a bizarre leaf. <laughs> what is that picture? Okay. So, yeah, like the other... Uh, there are other games. It's four weeks, four days. So that means it's going to end sometime in December. Probably the second week into December. I'll try and talk about this more in the next update. But, you know. Eh. Anyways. Let's see here. Gossip Fall Pack. It looks like this is for... Alright, for at least two weeks. So, we got that. So, Vanessa... I'm guessing that's Vanessa. This is Crystal. Okay. The Hen House. The Pigs Pen. Oh, there's Piggies in there already. Ooh. Greenhouse. Okay, so drop that. Roasted chicken, ham, green beans, potatoes, eggs. Okay, so the glitch is correct. So the eggs were not supposed to be shown just yet and everything else. So... Man, they've just uh, accidentally revealed what this update was going to be. And, uh, man. Okay, so they've added a lot of stuff here. So, I don't know. The price might be worth it. But, anyways. Ooh, okay. That, uh, that is looking very suspicious. 
that looks exactly like that uh one episode from the new ghostbusters i think it's like poultry guys Ugh, <laughs> the were chickens i just see where they're going with this anyways chicken chicken Crystal's in town to bring Flair to the promenade with the opening of the Hero Diner in Gossip, Goshen Falls. I guess that's how you call it, the Goshen? It's like Goshen Falls. All right. Looks like an opportunity for Vanessa, Clarissa's niece. Ooh, that's interesting. So they're related. To fit in the hero community. Too bad Crystal's no hero at all. Interesting. So they're going with this angle. All right. That is funny. So I believe what's going on here is this is the Thanksgiving update, of course. And I guess Vanessa is Omnish. So I'm guessing is instead of pilgrims, there's Omnish. And instead of turkeys, it's chickens. All right. So we kind of already know the. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, I see that not only do we get the uh the monster blood, but now we're also getting be afraid. Oh, I am terrified. I am extremely terrified. Oh god. All right, before I go into the other stuff, let's just take a look at the event. All right. So yeah, we've seen that before. Man, the items are looking real creepy, especially those weird bucket. I don't know. That's so bizarre. Also, I don't know why, but I'm guessing Clarissa, over, or not Clarissa, Vanessa over here is really giving me weird Beetlejuice vibes. I don't know why. I guess it's just the black and white that's kind of making me feel like that. I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, same thing here. So, uh, discover new time items play new animations craft new items play a new scene man that chicken is looking very creepy all right the items okay so it looks like greg is available um before i go into this i might as well show you what the other game is going to look like here so i'm going to just jump into that right now Right, welcome back. So this is what the Gosselin Falls looks like. It's the same thing except they added um, Greg in here. This is what it looks like if you're a new player with all the items that's presented to you with all the uh, materials. Mostly it's the same except for the newer stuff, of course, but you know, I've always liked to share it with you in any chance I get. And one other thing I want to mention and show off is that they did actually extend some of the monsters as you see here. They've changed the leveling to them, so they've added more. But anyways, I'll jump back right up later. Okay, so you've probably seen what they've decided to update if you're new to the game, so that's great. Anyways, with that in mind, uh, we've got Greg, inflatable spiders from the Halloween, but it's coming here for Thanksgiving, I guess. Okay, so a lot of the Halloween stuff from the years past, like, years past are coming back here for Thanksgiving, I guess? All right. Oh, and they got the Thanksgiving table, so there's that. All right, so here's a new item. So we've seen Vanessa's temple. We've seen Crystal's palace. Oh, she got a little doggy over there. Cooking pot. So it's, an, it's a crafting area. Crystal's ride. Oh, man, the prices of this, though. Is it going to be... <laughs> Cuddles Parade Balloon. Oh, no. Look how it... look at this thing. I wonder how big this is. Dangerous Parade Balloon. Oh, so that's the dog's name? Oh, my God. Look at it. It's like a little chihuahua. They certainly made Crystal to be like the legally blonde lady. I, I'm 100% sure that's what they're basing the design off of. Anyways, Drool's Parade. Oh, oh, Jesus. What happened to you? You look... Oh, oh no. All right. Greenhouse. Hen house. The hog hut. <laughs> oh, no. No, oh, there's new maintenance mode now? Oh, come on. Uh, 
All right, give me a sec. I have to come back here again. Damn. I know this game was glitching out before with other stuff, but what a perfect time. I guess I have to come back at this point of the, the mission, so uh, sorry. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I don't know what happened there or why I needed to do that, but I, I guess I needed to fix something. Anyways, where were we? All right. Muffin Parade Balloon. Okay, so they decided to have Mrs. Mars cat. I mean, it looks adorable. It doesn't look as butchered as uh, Drool here. But, uh, eh. I mean, I'm trying to wonder. The, like, eyelashes on there. Are they implying the muffin is a female? I don't know. Oh, then we got a spa. Gee, I wonder who the spa's for, huh? All right. So, all right. What's our final grand prize? Let's see this. Oh, sweet Jesus. The Wear Chicken Parade. Wow, man, this looks terrifying. Okay, so I already see where we're going with this. So let's see this. So we need Thanksgiving meals. I'm I'm assuming that all this has to be done by the um the thingy, you know, the um the Heroes Diner. So we need that. Heroes Breakfast. The monster pie. That is terrifying. And then what is this? The monster bucket. So you need to craft this at the end. Okay, so we need a lot of these uh, crafting stuff here. All right. So before I talk about the uh, obvious two special books, let's go ahead and look at the promenade. Oh, they got a little animation going on here. Looks like the falls. Interesting. And it looks... Huh. So they've really changed... They really changed the landscape of the the promenade. They really upped the ante of this one, huh? All right, so I'm now... I'm kind of terrified to find out exactly what this scene has to offer. Here we go. Okay, so we have chickens and a rooster, I guess. All right, five, ten, twenty. Oh no! Why are you doing this again? Twenty percent just for the chicken leg, and then you need Vanessa and Crystal. Forty to give it. Wait, so this eighty percent. So that's like ninety-five if you got all of them. But why? Also, Crystal's the wear chicken. Nice. Okay, so this is gonna be very. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I'm not liking this. I mean, they're not, like, unique like Curly was, but still, that's, like, a lot. I guess, technically, you could get the uh, crystal. That might help you out, but still, that's a lot to just kind of bank in for. All right. I love how my, um, unintentionally, my, uh, my stuff here is kind of linking to this, um, new, um, Oh, there's a little cramping area. That's interesting. Okay. So let's take a look at this. This is the hero's diner, right? All right. So this, the chicken thigh. So that is the item that we can get a lot of. So you need to roast a chicken. Cranberry sauce. This is the other one. I believe the cranberries have been reused. I think this was used for, I want to say, Welcome to Camp Nightmare. All right, glazed ham. So you need... Okay, so curly is useful for this one. All right, so it looks like the ham, cranberries, and legs so far might be items that we can grab. So is green beans. Okay, so there's a lot of items that we need to get here. So, all right, so need this. Eggs. Okay, so is this... Yeah, okay. So... Potatoes, eggs, green beans, all those items are the easy stuff to grab. All right, so this is going to be a bit complicated. Oh, yeah, and we need groceries, so I guess that makes sense. You need two roasted chickens for gravy, and okay, well, the logic. Also, by the way, I'm looking at this, and the buy all of them is, like, really cheap, so that tells me that these are real easy to grab. 
All right, so here's our first thing to get. These Thanksgiving meals. So you need... Casserole, this, and this. Okay, so it looks easy enough. Heroes breakfast. We'll need potatoes, this, and the eggs. Okay. All right, so two of the things we need is easy. I'm more terrified with the... Uh, the pie and the chicken thing because I am uh, I am scared to find out that they are needed for the oh they're not here wait wait okay hold on a second so this is supposed to be normal human food and let me guess if I were to go all the way up here to the monster diner yeah there it is Okay, bloody muffin. So it looks like the Halloween item is now returned here, but it's more used for this, and it's interesting because they're using the cranberries and the eggs. Okay, and you need cans. Okay, so you'll need characters to do that who aren't you supposed to say. I'm guessing... I know one person for sure would be amazed, though. He's going to be doing that for a while. All right, here's what I was fearing, the monster pie. So you need the legs for that. Great. And you'll need a Thanksgiving meal. So you'll need the Thanksgiving meal for the monster pie. And the monster bucket. Okay, you know what? So the monster bucket and monster pie is going to be more of a pain. Because you'll need this, which is a scene. And normal people... We'll only get it like twenty five percent, and the others are gonna get like ninety, like a lot. I'm hoping that it is not needed a lot as far as like currency goes, because you could technically just skip it and just buy into it. I mean, if you just keep on watching, like money, like not money, but you know, the currency, and you could just buy these resources out but i'm gonna have to look at this more depth in the what do you call it the what do you call the crafting 101 for the prize um what i will say just by looking at this is um the monsterator thank god that is not needed so okay so let me just see this making sure okay so now all right so, right on first glance, I'm going to probably say this in my crafting 101 here too, but if you're going to get the grand prize, do not, under any circumstances, get the monsterator yet. Focus on getting the craft, uh, getting your prize, and then once you get the prize, then go for this, for the story, because honestly, the story is better than, you know, all, all of that stuff. Oh, right. I'm guessing Greg's now dropping currency then. Interesting. All right, nice. Um, right, before I go and do all the other stuff, let me go ahead and... Um, what's this? The greenhouse. So, it's using the other... So, I'm thinking it's easy to get the greenhouse here because of the... Wait, what is the greenhouse normally? Let's find out real quick. 80. So, it's not that bad. So... I think you can get the greenhouse if you really want to to save so you don't have to get the other currency here. But that's something to be note of. So let me just quickly go in here to see the other deals we got going on here. Okay. So we have the hearthy meal, which is... Get 50 bucks, 200 that, cranberry sauce. Okay, so this normal stuff here for that. All right, so be afraid. I'm assuming this is our new book. Yes, it is. And I'm going to be looking into the menu here. But um, I'm going to have to look at the other um, freemium town just to see exactly what the deal is with one of them. Because I think... I might be wrong here, but I think Be Afraid is going to be the this book, this unique book. And Monster Blood is added as a permanent feature. 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's a way to get the crafting area for free. I'm just assuming. And all these characters can be bought in the shop. So I'm not going to bother with getting, you know, like if I'm going to get the bundle, I might as well not bother with doing that. Haunted Mask Pack. Um, okay, so it comes with some rings. Interesting. Alright, so it's going to be interesting looking into the files for the other game to see what exactly that has to drop in for. I'll probably put in a link here. Man, there's going to be a lot of videos of just uh, other towns switching back and forth. This is going to be a very uh, unique one. All right, so we've seen the promenade, we've seen all that stuff. I'll just quickly go into here just to see. Okay, interesting. So the haunted house and the junkyard can be bought. So, all right, so it seems like you can keep that after the event ends. So I don't know if they did that because of an apology. Also, yeah, they've also added the haunted mask, Jekyll's haunt. Headless Horseman, Skelly's Altar, Booze, Crypt. Okay, so even they are staying behind. Okay. So it seems like I'm going to have to just pause this, show all the stuff that's going on here in post-commentary, and just kind of go through all the new stuff here, if possible. I'm hoping I'm able to, but I don't know. Heroes. All right, so Vanessa... It's interesting Vanessa is the hero this time around because in the in the book she's like an evil witch but it's like black and here she's like a gothic chick I don't know it, it'll be interesting to hear the dialogue between her right so okay so now you can get Evan Carly Beth and Connor I've already seen how much they cost, and Carly Beth is finally able to be bought without having to buy a bundle, so that's great. Connor is cheaper than he was, which he rightfully deserves because he's not that useful. Evan still costs a bit like he did back then, but it's not that bad, I guess. So we got Crystal's Palace. Yeah, she's ooh, 80. Man, that's that's gonna be that's gonna hurt hard. Drool's house. So it seems like you're more likely to get Vanessa than Crystal. Interesting. So Drool's staying behind, so that's great. So if you've missed him, you can get him fine. What else? Okay, so Andy. So all these characters here too. So I'm interested if all these characters are basically able to be bought without the bundle well i mean besides i'm not 100 percent sure because i think i know the monster blood i'm gonna look more into this but it seems like uh man it'll be interesting to see how much price this is for everything here so there's that yeah um curiosity enough so we've seen all this stuff yes i'm kind of curious if they have Okay, so candy vending machine. So you can buy the joke shop and that now. So are these permanent then? I'm guessing so. Okay, so we're seeing the cost here as well. So it's not that bad for now. Uh, if you played through the events before, then you're able to kind of get through this fine. More interested to see if anything that has been unique placed down, and that's it. Because. So Curly's reading chairs. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Alright. Okay, hold on a second. So there is new items here. So. All right, during my playthrough of um, the Curly thing, I mentioned how there were new items that seemed like they had nothing to do here. It seems like we finally got what they are. So we have a mailbox, um, the mailbox prank. That's from the, how, um, the other event. But it looks like we got bushes, sign, tree, deer fountain, and bush. 
They're worth zero dollars, by the way. I don't know why. Deer fountain's looking pretty cool, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll put these down at some point. Um, tree and that is zero, so... Why not, I guess? <laughs> I think that's a glitch, but screw it, you know? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, scary stuff. It seems like nothing new here. So, okay. And that's it. Okay. Um, so it seems like you're able to get the characters and whatnot without having to buy the special books, but I'm assuming you'll need to buy the special books in order to complete the event because you'll need to craft items, and the only way to do that is through the, um... Oh, nice to see that Curly's able to kind of drop this, too. Uh, I'll click all that stuff later. So, if I am hearing about this correctly... Oh, and, uh... Why is this always doing this? No, stay like this. Okay. All right, so Halloween is done. No well, no more decorations, sadly. All right, so I believe, yeah, so this is now back on as well. And what I find funny is if I'm, if, if I, if I know this correctly, the final prize, and this only works if you play through the event. If you play through the event, the final prize was his monster house, and the monster blood house. Now, if you've gotten this already, I think they've turned this. They did. So this is the new crafting area now. So it's turned from a prize to a crafting area. So technically speaking, if you played, if you got monster blood then you don't need to get Monster Blood Bundle because you already got all this stuff. So that saves me trouble. I'm still going to have to get the this, the other thing, though, which is sad. All right, so uh, I'm going to debate whether or not I'm going to use this as its own separate video. I'm probably going to do that with the specials. I'm going to treat it as such as well. And... um. Right, so there's all that stuff. So I'm not going to click on that just yet. Instead, we're going to go into the books. All right, let's see who's here. I mean, I might as well do this here too. So, yeah, so it's the same old, same old. Yeah, same thing. Greg, of course, he's useful because, you know, he's... This is dark, yeah. Uh, Okay, so both Sarah and Sunny, but Sam, nah. Okay. Interesting choices here. Uh, Curly is. I'm actually curious to see what these characters drop now as well as the other one. Yeah, so they're not useful anymore. And, of course, Drool is. So I'm going to look at that and it's um, once I start the quest. However... Oh, what do we have here? Ooh... Ooh, it looks like we got we got more land. We got more land. Interesting. And oh look, so they've gotten some stuff set up here, some designs and things of that nature. Whoa, what is this? What do they got going on here? Okay, so do they have it looks like they have something planned. With all this stuff. Like, look at this. Interesting. So, okay. So, it looks like they have... They might have more permanent stuff coming in the fray. Yeah, look at this. What is this? It's like a sinkhole. Is that a new... Is that going to be like a new spawn for something? Actually, what would that be for? Oh no, this is this is wow, okay. This is a lot okay, wow. Alright, so that's actually coming into coldness here as well, so I'm really intrigued to see where this is going here. Wow. Okay. Now something funny, apparently this was a there was a glitch at some point where all this was unlocked and people were just playing around with it. But people were like, no, please for the love of do not put anything in the here because as soon as the update hit, all this was blocked. So if you put an item or a character behind here, too bad. 
You had to call a contact to get it out. Alright, so looks like we got new areas. And I, yeah, I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room up there in a minute. So this is the new expansion zone. Uh, let's see here. One, two. Yeah, so no, this is not possible for me to get, right? Yeah, so that's still a lot. My god. I can get this, though, so that's... I guess that's something. This, same thing. Yeah, so that seems like that's the... Yeah, so that's old. So, all this up here, these three new areas is new. And it looks like... Alright, so this is where all the new items are coming from, is for this little area here. It looks like they finally... Ah, oh, okay, so this is looking interesting. And Alright, nice. So it looks like they got the... It looks... I guess this is his mansion, then. This is like Count Nightwing's mansion. They keep out and all that stuff. Okay. Alright, so it looks like they might be preparing for uh, the vampire breath to come in. Because it looks like this is all set up. Like, they're getting ready for you to get, finally unlock this area. Which will be very interesting how to deal with this, but... Color me intrigued. I'm really liking how they've set up this whole landscape. It's amazing. I'm curious to see if, what new areas they've added here. Or what's the plan? Because, you know... I remember it was so claustrophobic and there's like closed off. But no, now it's like... You know. But we won't get to more, see more until like the further expansion, right? Yeah, so they did a good job with... Alright, so... Good to know we're not going to be limited with what we got. So that's cool. After the, since the game start, we finally got new land. So, interesting. <laughs> right. So, I think I've seen everything that I need to see right now. But before we do that, oh wait. I just remembered. No, I have to see the book. Alright, so let's see this here. Yeah, I know. Okay, so... I guess not, because I have Monster Blood and Be Afraid. Yeah, so... Oh, okay, I have to talk about this in the Monster Blood book, but... <sighs> I have to talk about the fact that it's like, yeah, you know, this happened, yeah. So it seems like I don't have to do this again. Alright, so this is here for that. Okay, hold on. So this is 38 now, and this is 40. So it's like these are permanent stuff. However, you still need the bundle in order to get the special item. It would have been fun or better if they actually allowed you to actually put down the unique area, but I guess not. All right, that's... I guess that's something. On here is chicken chicken. So it looks like, hold on, you know, I might as well read this right now. So I need level five. It's okay. So this happened the other one too. I don't know why they have it as level five, because quite frankly, you still need to get the promenade, which is like level 10, unless they're going to downsize the promenade to level five. And if that's the case, then all right, fine. Um, but let's see this here. Uh, chicken, chicken. You're invited to experience the spookiest Thanksgiving. Will you seat at the hero or the monster table? Interesting dilemma that you're using here. And it looks like they've... Are they using the... No, they're using the flipped version, aren't they? All right. All right, so 12 quests here. Crystals in town to bring flair to the promenade and with the opening of the Heroes Diner in Goss and Falls. Looks like an opportunity for Vanessa Clarissa's need to fit in the hero community. Too bad Crystal's no hero at all. Right, so we know this part here. Uh, grand prize is the Goss and Falls founder. Looks like an Omnish or Pilgrim looking character. Interesting. So, 
My guess is in order to unlock this book, you need Greg down. Because I think he's needed while the other two are not. They're more like other side. I'm curious to see how they do the dialogue for both Vanessa and the other one. Also, I noticed that there's a camping site over here. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Wait. Do we have this tractor? I think we do. No. Maybe not. I don't know. They've really did a lot of stuff here. And, uh, yeah, especially, like, with this car here. So, yeah, you know what? They've added... They've basically recolored some of this stuff. I'm going to say, like, you know, the, the garbage here is basically this, but colored and more simple. I don't know. And I think the lighthouse is... I think the lighthouse is the same color, but I don't know. It looks a lot darker, in my opinion. Right. Okay, so I, you know, I'm talking a lot. So I think we finally got all we need to talk about. I think this is all we need to do. So we're just going to jump into the dialogue here. But before I do that, let's go ahead and uh, look at... Uh, let's look at our friend, the dear old Slappy. And Slappy doesn't disappoint. He has gotten this still going on here with Valentine's Day. What I will say, though, is the placement is not that terrible, especially when you get to this. It fits well for the area itself, but still it looks like a mess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, why are you telling me that I could do that if I can't? Right, okay, well, that's it for me. Let's go ahead and, um... Let's just go ahead and uh, see what the dialogue is for this new update. Chicken, chicken. I'm back on my throne. Did you miss me here, player? I feel renewed and ready. Thanksgiving is here, and I couldn't be more thankful. Yeah, you and me both, Curly. Believe me. I think everyone feels the same. Now, my family respects me. I can even mock my sisters thanks to my performance with those children. <laughs> But enough about me. We have a shiny new girl in town. Master, this means I'm no longer your assistant here? Oh, Drool, don't be silly. You've earned the right to be here. You can help me whenever you feel like it. Really? Oh, thank you, Master. I won't let you down. <laughs> Good boy. Let's see how our dreadful town says hello to that fancy girl who's walking around. Alright, so animate uh, playing the family charades and uh, get some chicken thighs. And uh, yeah, welcome. We're finally starting this event. And as you can see my past self, I'm pleasantly surprised at what we've gotten here. And yeah, the fancy girl they're hinting at in the dialogue for Curly is that of Clarissa. Now, in the part one, it is revealed that Vanessa is Clarissa's niece. And she's like an Omnish kind of girl. But you'll see in later on in the dialogue, it's kind of like she's a farmer girl. Whereas Crystal is more of a bit of a... What do you call? A bit of an entry. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to point out the end house with Greg. He actually drops the hero's breakfast, so... Be convenient as long as you get the hen house, you're good to go. And yes, <laughs> before you mention it, yes, I do still have the cough. Um, it turns out that it is not a sickness cough of sorts, it's actually due to something that happened um, back in November that I'm stuck with for a while until it fully healed. Long story short, um, acid reflux that's all you need to know. Oh boy. Food went down the wrong way, and I'm now paying for it, so this is going to be painful for the next few videos, but bear with me. At least the dialogue won't suffer so much, but uh, talking-wise, yeah, certainly do. Uh, so, again, just showing off, mostly these characters that I'm showing here are the ones that are going to be useful. They're mostly just, you know, cooking with something with mom. It's just going inside the the game, doing this thing, and uh, like I've mentioned before, what's interesting is that the cranberries are actually being returned from the, not the Thanksgiving, but you, you know what I'm talking about, the uh, Camp Nightmare, the uh, interest, the see where everything goes on here. 
You'll notice that some of these characters will need certain parade balloons. It's because they have an animation associated with it. But um, other than that, yeah, Marty's got some stuff for us here too. And uh, yeah, oh boy, I can't wait to talk about the new books that came out, which is on the corner there. But uh, I can't talk about any of these videos. No, no, they have to do their own special ones. Oh boy. But uh, it's neither here or there. Let's go ahead and uh, just... Continue on chatting on while I look through all the new episodes. Like, again, it's, it's interesting to see how the mayor has a new task, which is yoga. I guess to try to calm herself down from the last um, interesting stuff. Also, by the way, for some reason, Mrs. Dark, every time she has this uh, animation of just shopping around and whatnot, it's always that Christmas one back when I did it back in the 2019. So that animation has been very used a lot. Also something weird, apparently this is a glitch. This ends up getting fixed later on, but uh, yeah, for now, this is here. But uh, I'll mention more of that when it comes to the Crafting 101. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Eh, this whole this whole update, this particular update, is going to be more interesting to talk about. Due to the fact of how they've ended up changing the book for the better, a lot of people ended up liking the changes. Now, I know some people who watch me, not all, agree with the changes themselves, but uh, what can you do? And yeah, part of the reason why they changed Cuddles and Triggers' is, uh, portfolio was namely due to the Triggers, not Triggers, but um, Drool's quest line. But um, also it helps because of the fact that uh, the monster blood update came back and now they're official and what's interesting too is that not only did monster blood and here's something i've noticed some of the books that are coming back that need the special you can buy the characters outright on their own but in order to play the actual book event associated with it you need to get the bundle which is the only way with the craft the only reason you can skip that is monster blood and I'll talk more about that I probably might have mentioned it at some point but uh, needless to say quite an interesting and these are the tasks that trigger and uh, cuddles have gotten themselves into now so that is to be expected let's see our game breaking character as he's gotten us a lot of items that will help us within this event like um, well I don't know like giving us the um, the pies, the buckets, and the monster raiders. So uh, if you've gotten him, then the good news, you, you've uh, gotten yourself lucky on this event. And uh, there was an update, there was a point where he did come back, and I will mention it as soon as that pops in, most likely in part 4, because oh boy, um... Like I like I mentioned before, everything is like a positive grim all the way through. There's just many little things to talk about and to mention. Some grievances that uh, they could have gone better with, but uh, wait, like, what can you do? Sometimes you have to be thankful for what you get, right? It's it's. You know, I, I like what they tried to do with this update and uh, tried to make everything stand out. And, um, you know, the items they introduced were actually not that bad for the most part. And I certainly do like the two new characters that got introduced here. You'll see a lot more of them when it comes to Part 2, for sure. Um, you'll most likely see more of uh, Vanessa's quest line than Clarissa and Crystal's. Crystal is more later on. And um, you'll see why, because her task requires a lot more interesting drops. But, um, yeah. And what what's fun is that you can actually get drool for cash, so that's fun. Yeah, some of the characters, uh, like I was mentioning before, what I've noticed is that some of these special books, um, it seems like you're allowed to buy them, nuts in the vein of like Compton and Yvonne and all that. But if to play their associated books, you do need to buy the bundles associated with it because it comes with the actual crafting building. That's the only reason that's locked off. And as soon as you buy that bundle or when you complete the first task, all the animations associated with it gets unlocked. So characters who had exclusive animations for that update will get them back as soon as you complete that quest. 
Hence why Compton's animation is locked behind. It's it's kind of crap that that's the case. They could have actually changed it to fit, but what can you do? That's why I uh, end up talking about it. Oh yeah, and he drops the spy glasses. So again, another reason why I like him. You know, he's he's actually useful in the sense of that. So I do like I, I do like my I like Faraday. Our director character he's gonna be filming all of this around and uh, there is going to be a slight cameo with him in this update not by much it's gonna be like a side quest but it's nice to see him popping bin again <laughs> he, he's, he's not gonna go away anytime soon that's for sure but uh, yeah I'm just gonna show off real quick <coughs> apologies of um, the item drops of the old scenes of what they actually do now uh, like for example, this is uh, free to sign for Boo, and um, if we go to Midnight in Nightshade, I believe they're also free. I'm not sure about yeah, it's just free too. So all of them are free. And um, Book of the Dead still the same. I'm trying to see where else here. Uh, yeah, that's roughly about it. I I think I'll pass me pretty much said the best and. Uh, it was what is great because past me didn't have a problem with the voice back in the day N New me currently in the end of the year certainly does and I'm paying for it in the price and I'm sad I I'm hope I hope that my 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 throat gets better and heals because this is gonna get this is gonna be annoying for the next few videos oh, boy but yeah, that's the Gossam Fall Pack, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at when we come to Part 2. Before I end it, I might as well show you this right here. This is the Gossam Fall Pack. This has been what would pop up during the video. I did not get this actually in the video itself, but I decided to share it with you here. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm just going to rest my voice now. I think I need to because I don't want to irritate it enough as it is. <laughs> I need to rest, unfortunately. So I've been Grim and I'll be seeing you in part two or crafting or whatever videos I have planned. So before then, until then, uh, don't don't be a chicken, be 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 a rooster. <laughs>